What's up, YouTube fam? Family, YouTube family. All you badasses out there watching. So I'm hoping this is gonna be like, oh shit. So I'm hoping this is gonna be the last video, the last thing I gotta do before really start moving in the new shop. So you can see I finally got water in out here. Um, that was kind of a pain, but I finally got it. And really I needed, water was like the last step I needed in order to wash the floors and put the epoxy down. So I've already started kind of cleaning up and this is the plans. So first, I'm gonna wash floors, sweep floors real good, wash them, some muriatic acid, and then this is the epoxy that I'm gonna use here. This is called Aquapon. It's a PPG product, and this stuff right here is the bomb. Stuff right here is like ultra legit. Um, I've got a couple buddies of mine that have it, swear by it, and I mean, I've seen the performance firsthand. Driving tractors, big diesel trucks, all kinds of stuff on it. Absolutely no issues. So it comes in a A and B kit. So you got A and B, you mix them. I've got six kits. Which I'm hoping will be enough to get it done. Uh, these kits aren't cheap. They're about $150 a kit. So I don't know, you do the math. I think it's just under a thousand bucks worth of epoxy. But if it works the way I think it'll work, it'll be worth the money. So now the plan is just get all the rest of this crap out of here. Got to take the scaffolding apart, put it outside, get all this crap out of here, um, get everything swept real well, and then start cleaning. Not really sure what I'm going to do with the welding table. You know, I can pick it up with the tractor, but I don't really have anywhere to put it outside. I really don't want it to get rained on. So I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. All right, so I don't know, maybe a whole week, week and a half has passed. A couple of issues, every time I'd come in here to kind of dry out, it wouldn't be as clean as I wanted it to be. So I would clean it again, well then I'd have to wait for it to dry. And then there was some issues with the weather, mainly just dryness. Ended up putting a dehumidifier in here and a fan and just let it run for like the last three days. The weather's broke now. And I think for like the next day, two and a half days, it's nice, it's gonna be nice and sunny. And so it's time to coat the floors. Let's do this.
All right, so floors are done. It wasn't a big painful, well, I'll take it back. It was a painful process. So I basically started 10.30ish, and the way this stuff works is you kind of got to mix it, you got to let it sit, kind of start reacting for about 30 minutes, and then you have a four hour window to put it down. Um, I think the total, total floor probably took me maybe five or six hours, wasn't too long, but I didn't know how long it was gonna take me, so I kind of didn't want to stop. I just kept, kept going, didn't really film much. Let me, uh, let me grab the product, because I know you guys are gonna ask. So the product I used was this PPG Aquapon. Um, I'm not gonna say that it's the best product in the market because I'm not really an expert on floor epoxies. Now, I will tell you, this is probably the best product that I've ever seen in person. I've seen a lot, I've applied some. The beauty of this product is that it's an industrial product by PPG, first of all. It's not advertised as your, you know, house garage floor coating that you can buy at Home Depot or wherever else. And it's designed mainly for chemical resistance. So you spill gas on it, you spill brake fluid on it, brake clean, doesn't matter what it is, this stuff right here is gonna, it's not gonna really affect it. It's not gonna affect it at all. Matter of fact, I know a guy firsthand, a buddy of mine, got the same coating, spilt brake fluid on it. And for those of you that know anything about brake fluid, stuff messes with anything, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, didn't know that the brake fluid was leaking, sat there for over the weekend. When he did discover it, he came in, wiped it up, no issues. I think this stuff's good up to like 250 degrees. Um, obviously weld splatter could affect it. Not really worried about it. Mostly what I do is TIG welding, and if I do burn it or whatever, I'm sure it's gonna wear anyways. I'll just recoat it at some point, no, no big deal. Other than that, as far as the coating itself and the durability of the coating, um, I mean, I've seen you know, big diesel trucks and tra trailers and tractors moved on this stuff and zero issues thus far. And my buddy Chuck, y'all know Chuck, he's had his for over a year now. Got another friend of ours that's had it for a couple years now and uh, very, very good. No complaints that I've kind of heard of. Uh, preparation, cleaned it real well, did a acid etch on this thing. So they recommend either acid etch or like a diamond uh, grinding. Did a really good acid etch on it. Tried to pull as much of that crud out of the concrete as I could. Put as much texture in it so this stuff could bite into it. And then this stuff's just a two part mix. So it's an A and B uh, epoxy. One's got the color. The other one I'm, I'm assuming is probably the hardener. You mix the two together, you mix it up real good. Like I said, you let it sit and it kind of starts to activate and then you put it down. I bought, I bought uh, six kits for this floor, which is 12 gallons. I figured that's about what I was gonna need and come to find out I only needed four kits, eight gallons um, to do what I've done. I probably could have put it on a little bit thicker, but uh, I mean, I still don't think I would have used uh, all 12 gallons. So, yeah, I got a little extra. I can recoat some spots if I need to. I may do the garage in the house. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I got four extra gallons. So now that the floors are done, it's moving time. I'm gonna start moving stuff in here, equipment, uh, a lot of the stuff that's gonna go over here, along with construction is gonna still continue. Gonna put up some walls and that sort of thing. I may do one more Bibster video at the house just because the weather doesn't look like it's going to be very good for the next eight or ten days and it may kind of hinder me getting in here. Uh, so in the meantime, I may just work over there and do, do some filming. But yeah, I'll be sure to document the entire process. I got to do the walls, got to do the enclosures, got to set up the equipment. All that stuff will be on film. I'll bring it to you guys. And hopefully, and I've been saying this for a while, but hopefully I can bring you guys more regular videos now that I'm kind of in a kind of in a work workable space. Alright guys, as always thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week, next week. More videos. Go do work, son.